Welcome to Everyday Cooking with Ann. Once again, you get Mr. Ann. And why do you get Mr. Ann? We do a lot of frozen desserts. There are lots of types of frozen desserts to do. You can do ice cream, which we have done many videos. A sorbet, which is what we're going to do tonight. Or you can do gelato. Now, if we ever do a gelato, it will not be me who does it because that is much more involved and I simply don't have the patience to do gelato. However, gelato is truly a wonderful dessert. First time I int was introduced to gelatos, I was 18 and I was hitchhiking around Europe for several months. And I arrived in Florence and I discovered a gelateria and I had a gelato and I ate another one and I bought another one. I was eating 10 gelatos a day and the reason was back then they cost a nickel a piece. So I could still keep to my strict budget and love gelato. Every time I take people on a trip to Italy, we introduce them to gelato and soon enough they can spot a gelateria a mile away and we have at least three gelatos a day. But today we're doing a sorbet and in Italy they do a lot of sorbets. In fact, sometimes people can't tell the difference between a sorbet and ice cream. The difference is in the sorbet we don't have any cream nor do we have any milk. It is strictly fruit. I love fruits and Anne loves chocolate. So she won't make my sorbets like I like so I do the sorbets. Today what we're doing is a sorbet called Frutti da Bosco which means mixed berries. The literal translation is uh, fruits of the forest. So it doesn't matter what uh, mixture of berries you have as long as you like your berries. So what we have is first we have five eighths and this the measurements I'm giving you for this go into a one and a quarter or one and a half quart uh, ice cream maker. What we have here is one and a quarter cups of sugar and we have five eighths of a cup of water and we boiled it so that the sugar would be dissolved. If you're in a hurry, you can just put in the sugar and the water directly into the mix and but some people claim it would be more granular. So what we have is we have blackberries, raspberries, blueberries and some strawberries which I've already cut up and a quarter cup of lemon juice and luckily Ann always has fresh squeezed lemon juice for me to take out of the fridge. Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to then we're going to start. I have some berries I have already prepared and washed and cut up and we're going to put them in and they're going to look like it's more than we're supposed to have because you're going to end up with a lot of air in the berries as they get mixed. So what we're going to do is we're going to puree them first and see what we're coming up with. Now I may end up with more berries than I need. We'll see what... Okay, that's giving us about, let's see where the cup measurements is. That's about three cups. So we're going to add some additional. We're going to add the, the uh, sugar and uh, the sugar water. The syrup. It's the same type of syrup you'd make for uh, pancakes or waffles except we're not adding the maple flavoring. Okay, we're going to throw in some of the blueberries which we haven't added yet and we're going to add in the lemon juice and we're going to see how that settles down and how much we've got. Okay, we've actually got closer to five cups and what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to strain it because some people don't like the seeds and personally I prefer the seeds because it gives you roughage but not everybody is going to be okay with the seeds. You can see I have sifted. You can see what it looks like without the seeds. Here are the seeds. There are a lot of seeds so it isn't as much but there's still more juice than you would ordinarily want. So I'm going to put it back in the Ninja. See how much I've got. It gives me about four cups. A little more. I'm going to add 
quarter cup of sugar, and I'm ready to put it into the bowl, and we like to keep it about a little bit under the, uh, and maybe I don't even have enough. What do you know? Looked like there was a whole lot of berries, but it's, it's close. We'll scrape it out of the bowl too. Okay, so you can see we had almost six cups of berries when we started. We're about three quarters of an inch low, but we're going to go ahead and process it. And we'll go for probably 25 to 30 minutes. Even though our volume was a little bit low, you can see how nicely it is uh, swollen up. And it takes about 10-15 minutes longer than most ice creams. Uh, can't tell you why, it just does. And let me take it out here. We've put this container in the freezer so that it would be cold when we put the uh, sorbet in and we're going to put it in before we have some we're going to put this in the freezer for about about an hour and let it uh, get a little harder and then we'll try it here we go with a finished product with a little bit of whipped cream on top of it you can see how rich that is turned out great